This is the moment the world. His power started from the bottom, now my whole team. His dominance in mixing. Will he be defeated? Gypsy King. figure whose story intertwines Allah. Behold, in theory, bore battle from the echoes of history, history of time. He emerges the brother to five lunatics, brother to seven screaming kids. Or the next is the Gypsy King.
for the nation of Cameroon. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the national anthem. And the season officially begins tonight in rounds of boxing in the heavyweight division. And Frank Warren for Queensbury Promotions and Mr. Bob Fight Promotions. This event is streamed to the United States and Canada on ESPN World. Ladies and gentlemen, special thanks and chairman of the General Entertainment Authority, Turkey Al Sheikh. In commission, WBC President and Supervisor ever at the Bell, John Smith. The three judges honor. from the United States, Alan Krebs, and inside the ring, in charge of the action at the... The foot and got him on his back foot because when you force those, you take his power away from him. Beautiful right hand by Tyson Fury, right? Or stab down to the body with his jab. Francis told us the other day when we pace, I need to get a sense of range. Remember, he's opposite of five inch reach, does Tyson Fury. Right there, as Ngannou tries to step down to the body, sat with him. He said the first minute, I need to get a sense of man. There's Nagano coming in with the right hand, who has an 85. Nagano's getting off to a quick start. He's already closing the distance already. There have been many critics of experience and skill in boxing. Fury discounted that. The guy who goes five minute rounds, he's been sparring for four. Tess, he has natural reflexes. About the chances that Francis Ngannou had when it comes to the lack of experience. He said, I don't think he's going to be that bad. This is months he has great respect for what Ngannou can bring here. Muscle memory. When you can fight, you can fight. Off. Nganu, instinct right now. A lot smarter than I thought. Might take a few rounds for Fury to win. Nganu testing distance with that left hand as Fury. Nganu has a game plan. The game plan is the body. He wants to set up the hook. Tate Wilder had success with that shot early on. To end this trilogy with Fury, and of course, scored four knockdowns in. See, most times, up, look up top. That's what he's looking for, but the jab to the body. Deontay Wilder, former heavyweight titleist who had a tremendous classic fights. That was a tell right there. Tyson Fury threw a feint right there. You saw Fury, that comes over the top. That's my point. Then the right hand after. Ngano comes over with a right hand. Nine heavyweight champ. Fury he just flicking out that jab. Right hand of Ngano goes down. There's there. a right hand from Fury. Fury came with the left hand. First. And Fury able to turn away. Jab off the hip from the six foot. And Gano's in his fight. Not giving ground. Good opening round. Good between round. Fury, he's a little something extra from the Gypsy King. It's an old school. He's moving towards the right hand. He's trying to take it away from him. He's baiting him. He wants him to throw the right hand. See if Ngannou is what gets out to the right. Expected, including myself, to really deploy or shoot a shot. Ganu, as Fury was dipped. Did you distance shooting a short uppercut right up the middle on Tyson Fury? Southpaw from the Gypsy King. You as know, he shows him what that means, right, Tess? Fury didn't like what he was seeing. Seeing that clinch, and Ganu keeping, and then Ganu switched out poems. A little bit of blood up above the brow line. There's that right hook. Switching stances here in round number two. Both fighters test. That's right. A lot of mental battles right now for both men. Ooh, nearly a clash of heads on the end. With that southpaw jab, tries to go to the body and last second. Tess and Gano is extremely strong. Fibri's going to have to left him the outside, use his jab. Let him Keep burn up some of that energy. That perhaps Ngannou can stand up to. Fury loves to lean on his that big frame and all that weight. He just threw a punch too close the distance right there. He's dangerous, Tess. He's always dangerous. What we saw with McGregor and Mayweather at any one moment. One. He tries to cut this with the right hand, but instead falls. It's a bad habit of bagging out and dropping his hands. And 
He has a game plan. He has a strategy. His goal. Now switching stances again. Here he's looking for something. To there is that clinch tie up, the UFC style clinch of the body lock compared to the traditional boxing clinch. Perhaps a confidence builder for Francis Ngannou. And God was fighting like a man with a plan. Goal was to prove it, that he can box, that he's committed to this sport. As he's just looking, he can't get in his rhythm right now. That you referred to in yes. our pre-game segment, our pre-fight segment. And Fury said, that can actually create an opportunity for me. Battle right here. And Ganu is in, in the orthodox stance. Hard time getting past that lead hand. Those are controls right there. And Ganu, I <laughs> was just so smart. I'm lo look at the hand, and he's battling the lead hand of Tyson Fury. And Tyson's having a hard And Ganu controlling the lead hand of Tyson Fury. Yes, I can. Fury got sloppy. Well, what do we have here, folks? My, oh, my. <laughs> the heavyweight champ. Anything can happen. Can you and Ngannou just scored a knockdown? Folks. I told you. And Ganu has a plan, people. Believe yes. what you just saw. This is not so bad. I'm in here with the best. <laughs> I don't see. Since he was a child, watching like Tyson time right now. Tess and Ganu is outboxing a boxer. He's doing exactly what he wants to do. That Tyson. left hand by Ganu, the shocker to the ropes. But on the inside test, where Fury, he feels that force coming back from Ngannou. Veteran referee Mike Griffin taking control from the southpaw stance from Fury. Ooh. Able to the top with a right of his own. The power of Ngannou is throwing back. So far tonight, now on the inside. As they wrestle. He is usually most dominant. He's the stronger of the two. Ngannou can handle himself extremely well in the inside. Things. Power back left hand to separate enough from the right hand of Nganu. Tries to come over the, the big body of the six foot nine Gypsy King. Guinea wiry Deontay Wilder in there. He took it well. Just energy. He doesn't want to expose too much energy this early. Still got from Fury. Another and now the jab. Flicking it off the hip from range. And then sit now getting into good rhythm right now. Good groove. Landed a few shots back to back. Hey. Two punch combination. One, two. Nganu trying we to see if he can shot. punch between punches. Trying to make an adjustment himself. He says, I'm going to go sit from Fury that Francis is able to get out of the way of. Six foot nine frame. Very back. You see the hesitation now coming from Nganu. Southpaw now. Sweeping right hand. You're going to have him. He's going to reach in. You can't just keep going in and ramming the bull. No, he's going to make it. He's going to start getting tired from holding his big ass up. Sugar Hill Stewart, as you see, Manny Pacquiao, Larry Holmes. Sugar Hill Stewart, the nephew of the late great Emmanuel Stewart from the thing. Big shot right there from Francis and God. The head trainer in that camouflage hat is named Kronk Jim in Detroit. Let's check in with Bernardo. He puts him off balance. That's a big problem. He wants to land something. Oh, right hand, nearly. 
Lance has had to stick to the game plan. He can't rush things, wrap up on the inside. And this is what Fury was concerned about, some of the awkwardness. Of he just gets physical in the inside, Tess. He's doing nothing wrong. Round number five, and Ghana with that mouth open. But then again, he has been silencing doubters and overcoming. Big. Oh! Fury yeah. comes charging in. And then they were the not conforming of Nganu, but he does break away. What a performance he has put on so far. Coming adversity his entire life, hasn't he? Can actually hinder your performance. Interesting you point. Perform well, starting to get greedy. You stop thinking. You just want to land that big shot. Love the physicality in the inside from the guy. Fury tried to go with him. But again, the longer... See, Tess, sometimes knockdowns, you're, you're fighting behind the game plan, then you get the knockdown, then you... That's what's happening right now to Ngannou. The right hand to the body on the inside as well. And he's showing no respect for it. He's the man used to going. There's an uppercut. Just from... Fury has a very powerful uppercut. Billy Stadium. Can draw him in here. Instead, it's the right hand behind the jab. Tries to come in with it. This fight goes, it favors Tyson Fury. Fury. Just off the mark. He was looking for him to lean, Tess. He didn't lean that time. He's shown it with a one punch knockout against Dillian White at Wimbledon. See if he can got new big shots right there and landing from Tyson Fury. Starting to see his technique go by the wayside. As he is finding his rhythm here in the final minute of another as Francis Ngannou fires back. I'm impressed with the chin. There he's starting to find his mark. Ngannou slowing down a bit. Another accurate jab from Tyson Fury. End of five. On your side by move. Long right hands from Ngannou's toes. Putting out that. We need to faint, and we do not need to get greedy here. Before he's making a puncher now, pick up his feet. So, see, that's the beauty about Tyson Fury. He can was going for the fences, and Fury just got out of the way of it. Ngannou. Desperate to land a power punch again, and now the new as Fury gets out of the way. Now boxing and moving up a faint. See what Ngannou offers, Timmy. That's what he's looking for, having to reset. Every step of the way, changing the angle, make adjustments in there. Man, that uppercut, that was... Boy, that uppercut. Such an accurate jab we're seeing in these middle rounds from Tyson Fury. Wrestling as they're against the ropes. Championship fights we've broadcast through the years. Fury, that's what he should do. Invest there. Shoot that jab downstairs. To up top, hit the bigger part of the body. To check. Michael Griffin, veteran referee from Montreal. He's worked many of the... Ngannou should invest in the body of Tyson. Right hands. You're having a difficult time hitting him in the... Up the jab. Fury went backwards. Ngannou, he just admitted. He know he put him on the canvas now. He know he heard him. And he's just looking out the window. Power. Power. Yes. But can he deliver it? Does he? He's going to have to set it up, Tess. Team with the right hand. And Gano coming to the inside. Short right hand. The game plan, Tess. He's just looking for one big shot. Going to hurt him once again. But the game plan is. But he possesses the one thing, Timmy, that overcomes the game plan, right? Have the delivery system against an elite boxer. Those movements right there, both guys, both men. End of six.